Copilot just released a new feature that might be really a game changer for refactors, but let's start from the beginning. From here, if I press enter, I see that, well, it tries to suggest me something here with the ghost text. But if I press tab now, you see that something else happened. And as you notice, even though my cursor is here, the next suggestion is on a different line on my file. And speaking about cursor, I think this was also one of the most appreciated features of Cursor IDE, and it's great to see that Copilot has now a similar feature. But let's try to better understand how it's working. Now I've got my cursor here, as I mentioned, but if I go with my mouse hovering the arrow, you can see that I can press Tab to go to or accept this suggestion or escape to reject. So let's try to do that. I'm here with my cursor, I press Tab once, and you see that the arrow is now green, and my cursor is now here at the beginning of this line. If I press tab again, then this line is completed and Copilot already tried to suggest how to continue this coding session. But I don't want this uh, apply discount function, I can press ask and there it is. But let me try to add a new field. For example, I could say public max discount and I just type max D. And with that, if I try to complete this line, you're gonna see that, well, the new feature already tries to suggest me, hey, you added a max discount, maybe you want to check and use this max discount inside this function you already have. So I press tab to go here and I press tab again, and there it is. But this was really just a little example, so let's give it a look in a slightly more realistic scenario. This is a profile card and we're gonna add a new field here called bio. The first thing we're gonna do here is to add the bio field here. That is gonna be a string. And now, if I go into my profile car component, I can try to go here. This is the username. Let's say we also wanted to add the uh, bio. So I can just start with a div. And Copilot already knows that I added the bio on the other file. So it helps me um, autocompleting with that. And now, if I try to go up to my on sub in the handler, and I place my mouse exactly here, right after a second, this suggestion will appear. And if I press tab once, you can see that it added both this new line and also it added bio here in the parameters of my function. And with that, I finally have my bio field. I can type hello, hit enter, and well, this seems like it's working. To be fair, the first thing we did is adding a new field here. And the edit we did on the card were basically reading the field in the on subit form, adding it to the function and also creating the input in the JS6. This new feature made it super handy to add the new code here, but in this case, I would probably use Copilot Edits, that is basically the global chat able to edit your file. And let me show you in a second. If I go in the browser, you see that the field is no longer there. And if I open the chat, I can say add the bio field. Uh, with that, I would probably expect a result really similar to the previous one. Let's see what is going on. So, yep, it basically added this new line here and also passing bio to the mutation. Let's accept this one. And if I scroll down here, yeah, that's also, well, this seems to be correct. It is below the email, but well, that's, that's not actually a big deal. I can just uh, move this up real quick. And yeah, that's again the same feature implementing two different features of GitHub Copilot. Moving on, a thing that has been criticized to pretty much all AI coding assistants is where you basically start to write something and then you wait for a second hoping that the next suggestion will be something similar to what you were expecting. So basically your flow is interrupted every single time by typing something, waiting, pressing tab, waiting, which might not be ideal. And that's why shortcuts have been invented. From here, you can type next edit and you should find trigger next edit suggestion. By default, it doesn't have any key binding, but here I can say that I want option one or alt one for windows. And with that, for example, if I go here, nothing happens, but if I press alt one, the new feature is already suggesting me how to complete. And that's pretty handy. Instead of waiting, I can just type alt one and Copilot will try the next suggestion in my file. But before closing the video, let me show you one last thing I noticed while I was writing a demo for a Tanstack tutorial. Here I got this function that just shows an error. It was for a demo as I mentioned. And here, if I create a schema, let's say I want that this, uh, this function is gonna take some parameters. You see here the handler doesn't have anything. And I want a flag called should error. It is a boolean. I can close the object. 
And now, right after that, you see that Copilot immediately suggested me this entire change that is basically moving on from these three lines where the function doesn't take any parameter and just throws the error to a different function. It is adding me a validator here between grid server function and the handler. It is adding the parameter here inside the function. And also there's a new if statement that only if this is true, it throws the error. Otherwise it just prints the console log. And with that, I just created my schema. I can press tab once to select this change. I can press tab again. And well, this was exactly the code I wanted to show. And if you want to enable the feature, as mentioned, it is called next edit. It is still in preview, but you can just type next edit in the settings and make sure to check this box. And the feature is already enabled. So what do I think in general? Um, I only tested it for a few days, to be honest. So this is kind of an early feedback. But I noticed that sometimes it might be too aggressive. It tries to give me the next suggestion, even though I no longer wanted to add stuff on that file. But that's also why I immediately look for the shortcut. It's probably an early sensation of setting expectation. This is pretty much what happened with the ghost text. I want to know when to expect a suggestion from this tool and when maybe I just don't need it as there are many other options in Copilot. I'm also not entirely sure I like pressing tab. I see that tab is basically the key for the complete, which makes sense. But also what other key we might use I don't know, to be honest. So maybe tab is still the most reasonable choice. Overall, the suggestions are usually good. You saw that, especially in the last example, was exactly what I wanted. And this seems kind of game changer on refactors. Adding new field, changing existing field seems to be exactly the use case for this tool. I'm really excited about how the preview is going. And I really want to try it for a few more days to see if there are some other fields like refactoring where this tool is really great at. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let's start a discussion in the comments. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye.